Welcome to our channel. Today, we embark on a journey to the far corners of the globe to explore the remarkable world of architecture. From ancient cities carved into sheer cliff faces to modern structures that seem to defy gravity, we will encounter buildings that are more than just bricks and mortar. Join me as we uncover the stories behind these 10 unique architectural wonders, each a testament to human creativity and ingenuity. Our journey begins in Barcelona, Spain, home to the Sagrada Familia, a basilica unlike any other. Designed by the visionary architect Antoni Gaudi, this masterpiece of Catalan modernism has been under construction for over a century, a testament to the ambition and artistry of its creator. Gaudi, inspired by the natural world, envisioned a building that would soar towards the heavens like a living, breathing organism. The Sagrada Familia's intricate facades are adorned with a riot of sculptures, each telling a story from the Bible. Look closely and you'll see spiraling columns that mimic the trunks of trees and stained glass windows that bathe the interior in a kaleidoscope of colors. Even unfinished, the Sagrada Familia is a breathtaking spectacle, a testament to the power of human imagination. We journey now to Istanbul, Turkey, a city where East meets West and where the Hagia Sophia stands as a testament to the passage of empires. For centuries, this architectural marvel served as a center of both Christian and Islamic worship, its history etched into its very walls. Completed in 537 AD, the Hagia Sophia was once the largest cathedral in the world, its massive dome a marvel of Byzantine engineering. After the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople, the Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque, its Christian mosaics plastered over and minarets added to its exterior. Today, the Hagia Sophia is a museum, its grand interior a harmonious blend of Byzantine and Ottoman aesthetics. As you wander through its cavernous halls, imagine the countless souls who have stood in awe beneath its soaring dome, a testament to the enduring power of faith and human artistry. Our architectural pilgrimage takes us now to New Delhi, India, where amidst the bustling cityscape rises the Lotus Temple, a symbol of peace and unity. This Baha'i house of worship, completed in 1986, welcomes people of all faiths to worship and meditate within its serene embrace. The temple's design, inspired by the lotus flower, is both striking and symbolic. 27 freestanding marble petals, arranged in clusters of three, form nine sides and nine entrances, representing the openness and inclusivity of the Baha'i faith. Surrounding the temple are nine reflecting pools, their tranquil waters mirroring the temple's ethereal beauty. Step inside, and you'll find a sanctuary of peace and contemplation, a place where the cacophony of the city fades away, replaced by a sense of profound tranquility. From the bustling streets of Delhi, we travel to the Bavarian Alps of Germany, where perched high on a rugged clifftop sits Neuschwanstein Castle, a fairy tale vision in stone. This romantic castle, commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria in the 19th century, seems to have sprung straight from the pages of a Grimm's fairy tale. Its soaring towers, ornate turrets, and whimsical design were inspired by the operas of Richard Wagner, a close friend of the king. Step inside and you'll enter a world of medieval romance and opulent grandeur. Elaborate murals, stained glass windows, and gilded furniture adorn the castle's interior, a testament to Ludwig II's extravagant tastes. Neuschwanstein Castle, with its fairy tale charm and breathtaking setting, is a testament to the power of imagination and the allure of the romantic ideal. Our journey takes us next to Bilbao, Spain, where a shimmering titanium tornado seems to have touched down on the banks of the Nervion River. This is the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao, a masterpiece of modern architecture designed by the renowned architect Frank Gehry. Completed in 1997, the Guggenheim Bilbao is a symphony of curves and angles, its titanium-clad exterior reflecting the light and changing colors with the weather. Inside, the museum's vast flowing spaces house a world-class collection of modern and contemporary art. The building itself is a work of art, its innovative design and unconventional materials challenging traditional notions of what a museum should be. 
The Guggenheim Bilbao is a testament to the power of architecture to revitalize a city and inspire the imagination. We journey now to rural Pennsylvania, USA, where nestled in the woods above a cascading waterfall sits Falling Water, a masterpiece of organic architecture designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Built in 1939 for the Kaufman family, Falling Water is a testament to Wright's belief that architecture should exist in harmony with nature. The house is built into the hillside, its cantilevered terraces seeming to float above the waterfall below. The sound of rushing water is a constant presence, a soothing soundtrack to life in this architectural marvel. Wright used natural materials like stone, wood, and glass to create a seamless transition between the indoors and outdoors. Falling water is a testament to the power of architecture to connect us with nature and inspire a sense of tranquility and awe. Our architectural adventure takes us now to the deserts of Jordan, where, hidden within a narrow gorge, lies the ancient city of Petra. It's truly a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of the Nabataean people. Carved into the sheer, rose-colored sandstone cliffs, Petra was once a thriving trading center. Its monumental tombs and temples stand as a testament to the wealth and power of its inhabitants. The most iconic structure in Petra is the treasury, its facade carved into the cliff face with astonishing detail. As you enter Petra through the Sikh, a narrow gorge flanked by towering cliffs, the treasury's facade will take your breath away. Explore further, and you'll discover a city of wonders with rock-cut tombs, a Roman amphitheater, and the monastery, another impressive structure perched high on a cliff top. Petra, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a testament to the enduring power of human ingenuity and the allure of the ancient world. Chapter 8. Sydney Opera House Sails in the Harbor From the ancient city of Petra, we travel to the modern metropolis of Sydney, Australia, where on the shores of Sydney Harbor sits the Sydney Opera House, one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzen, the Sydney Opera House is a masterpiece of expressionist architecture. Its sail-like shells, a defining feature of the Sydney skyline. Completed in 1973, the Sydney Opera House was a controversial project. Its innovative design and challenging construction pushing the boundaries of architectural engineering. Today, the Sydney Opera House is a world-renowned performing arts center, hosting operas, ballets, concerts, and theater productions. Its iconic design, stunning waterfront location, and vibrant cultural life make it a must-see destination for visitors from around the world. Chapter 9. St. Basil's Cathedral, an Onion Dome Fantasy Our architectural journey takes us now to Moscow, Russia, where in the heart of Red Square stands St. Basil's Cathedral, a riot of color and whimsy that seems to have sprung from a child's imagination. Built in the 16th century by Tsar Ivan the Terrible, St. Basil's Cathedral is a masterpiece of Russian architecture. It's nine onion domes, each painted in a different vibrant color, a defining feature of the Moscow skyline. Legend has it that Ivan the Terrible had the architects blinded after they completed the cathedral, ensuring that they could never create anything as beautiful again. Step inside, and you'll enter a labyrinth of chapels, each decorated with intricate frescoes and icons. St. Basil's Cathedral, with its fairy tale charm and historical significance, is a testament to the enduring power of Russian art and architecture. Chapter 10 La Pedrera Gaudí's Stone Waves. Our architectural adventure culminates in Barcelona, Spain, where we revisit the genius of Antoni Gaudí at La Pedrera, also known as Casa Mila. Completed in 1912, La Pedrera is a masterpiece of Catalan modernism, its undulating stone facade resembling the waves of the sea. Gaudi, inspired by the natural world, designed La Pedrera to mimic the organic forms found in nature. The building's facade is devoid of straight lines, its balconies adorned with intricate ironwork that resembles seaweed. Ascend to the rooftop and you'll discover a surreal landscape of chimneys and ventilation shafts, sculpted by Gaudi to resemble mythical creatures. La Pedrera, with its whimsical design and innovative use of materials, is a testament to Gaudi's boundless imagination and his enduring legacy as one of the most original architects of all time.
From the soaring heights of the Sagrada Familia to the whimsical curves of La Pedrera, we've explored some of the most unique and awe-inspiring buildings on Earth. Each of these architectural wonders is a testament to the power of human creativity and the enduring allure of structures that inspire and amaze. Have you visited any of these wonders? Or do you have a favorite that didn't make our list? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time for more fascinating architectural journeys. Thanks for watching.